In our next story, Brittany Edwards climbs a mountain to sow seeds in A Season to Ripen. It is a heavy September Sunday afternoon, and the dense clouds shroud the mountain intimately. The air beneath is damp, heavy, and still. I finally reach the gardens. It's been over a month since I stepped upon the dark brown soil, and I ache to see the change that I notice immediately. Autumn has already begun to gently brush my summer land, and the vegetables hang as a lingering middle-aged showgirl. As the thunder warns, my time will not be here as long as I want. I start picking, clockwise with muscadines, and then onto the late green beans and early sweet potatoes. Three months earlier, I had just finished my freshman year of college. A strange world that led me to find myself living upon Petty Jean Mountain, working for the first time as a dark descendant. The work was new to me, but I soon fell in love. The summer passed swiftly, as summer you know to do. So I worked hard from dawn until noon, quickly learning and ripening into a novice, excited farmer. The details were everything. I learned the proper way to care for watermelons and the dangers of one single bug on the entire crop of squash plants. I learned the dozens of varieties of heirloom tomatoes and the juicy merits of a freshly picked peach. With this knowledge, I could feel my confused world expanding and my little flow of my anxious soul ebbing to a clear and steady stream. As the season peaked and the summer was its hottest, I discovered my greatest love of the field. Harvesting. The thunder growls again, but now I've made it to the warm herbs and the smell of the basil mixes with that of the approaching thunderstorm. I hurry faster, my experienced hands quickly and gently choosing the full of fruits for my bounty. That summer, I was most surprised that I loved to plan, to work the earth, and to watch the plants grow with the honest joy that I felt when harvesting a plump tomato overshadowed this all. Each fruit that I picked was a gift and at the same time, something that I had worked hard for. As the summer progressed and the different harvest seasons peaked and fell, I learned the joy of tasting the season, because each season had its unique, deep, and characteristics. For instance, the plums harvested in an avalanche of a week or so, while the steady tomatoes ripened gently through the summer in a dance of the rainfall. My world of harvest was one of fantasy, covered by the earth's spicy smell of tomato plants and the good, brilliant yellow of the summer squash. However, as each harvest came to a close, I knew that my own season and my magical world was coming to an end. And then it happened. I was abruptly plucked from my mountain home in mid-August and sent back to the university. Time flowed faster than ever as the weeks turned into a month, and I saw nothing of my garden home. Halfway through the grapes now, I begin to hear the rain. I hear it before I see it. So if you've ever been in a vineyard, you'd experience that. Rounds resounding rhythmically on the grape leaves that surround me. My picking becomes hastier, and I'm soon covered with wet falling leaves and mud from digging the sweet potatoes earlier. I, as I pick the last of the golden tomatoes, my paper bag deteriorates, and I'm forced to double my wet cotton to be sure to hold all the fruit that I've chosen. As I finish with the fragrant colored beans, greens, my shirt struggles to hold the bounty wrapped inside of it. I realize, as the rain soaks me, that I am a ripe fruit myself, watered by the rain, soaked in the sun, and freshly plucked from the garden. As the water pounds the gentle fruit around me, I stop, muddy and full of the sense of a garden, and sigh. The peace that I find in this moment is monumental. For in my little world of chaos, I finally found a sanctuary in which the rhythmic seasons of the fruit cause all things to make complete sense. I feel the rain soak through my skin, and now I know that because of this peace, I can not always return to the garden from which I sprung, grew, and dragged.
University of Central Arkansas Honors College student who loves to travel, learn, write, and spend time outdoors. Through writing, she hopes to relate to and understand others. She will be spending this spring studying in Thailand where she hopes to learn and face new exciting challenges and adventures. 